We're back to the Neil Haley Show. My guest today is David Hollenbach of Hollenbach Leadership. David, how are you? We're going to talk about chapter three today. It's called, What Do You Stand For? And why that title? Well, you know, I'll, I'll read the first sentence of the chapter. The most important trait you have as a leader is a clear understanding of who you are and what you stand for, which some people call your core values. And in, in chapter three, I walk people through an exercise I did with my daughter where we defined our core values. And, and it was an incredible conversation I had. Um, my daughter at the time, I want to say she was 14. We went to dinner and I brought a little notebook with me and we sat down. And the, the question that I asked her was, you know, who do you want to be? Um, is there, is there qualities and people that you look up to that you want to emulate? What are some of those qualities and, and what do they mean to you? And so we, you know, we listed all of these values, these, these leadership traits, um, qualities of people that we look up to. And then we group them together uh, and, in categories where you know one term could be used in place of one of the other terms and then we we really talked about okay what does this mean to us and and we listed these um these four values it's uh wisdom morality fortitude and moderation and when we defined these we, we came up with the definition for wisdom uh, for us is before taking action, know what you have control over and what you have zero control over. For morality, it was being empathetic, compassionate, and ethical. For fortitude, it was perseverance in the face of adversity being courageous when it is easier and less painful to succumb to your fears. And then moderation is tempering your words and behavior through self-control. Wow. So again, this was an exercise that I had done by myself. I had done with clients, but the most powerful, uh, the most powerful instance of me doing this exercise with somebody was when I did it with my daughter and we really defined what our values are uh, as a, a father and a daughter. And it was so powerful to me that I, I actually um, adopted the phrase because then we came up with a, um, uh, a, I guess an anchoring statement or um, something that we can recall to uh, bring to our mind what our values are, and and so what we did was uh, we condensed those those four values into a, a statement: leadership through virtue and action. And then just to make it a little fancier, I put it into Google Translate and, and translated it into Latin. Um, and I use that, that phrase on my challenge coins. It's on my T-shirts and everything. And, and uh, the Latin phrase is ductu per virtutum et actionem, leadership through virtue and action. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. So... Ask me that question and see what if I can answer this. Okay. Uh, what what do you stand for? Uh, see, that's a good, tough question to talk about. But I stand for I stand for helping others. I stand for br bringing something very special to the world. I stand for creating a legacy to help others and help people everywhere. I stand for having a wonderful family. I stand for, it's almost like a value statement in so many ways. I stand for fighting for individuals that don't have anyone to fight for them. I stand for being, being the person I'm meant to be. 
I see what you're saying. It's almost like a value statement, what I stand for, right? Yeah, and and the the strength behind this is, you know, a lot of times people go through life without actually taking the time to say, this is what I stand for. This is how I define myself. This is what I'm willing to fight for. Um, this is what right looks like for me. All right. And the best place is hollandbackleadership.com. Purchase the book there. You can purchase it at all different places and finer bookstores and more things to come. Fireproof, your grand strategy for transforming failure into the fuel for your future. Thanks again, David. All right. Thanks, Neil. All right. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.